Morning from our day at sea. This is our last day on board the Disney Dream. And while we're very sad that our vacation is coming to an end, there is still a lot to do today. There's a lot going on in the Disney Navigator app, so we have liked a bunch of things we've already been to something this morning is the anyone can cook seminar which you just saw a quick clip of and it was the first one that they have had um since the pandemic so it was really nice that we got to catch that um, and that we were some of the first people to see that experience once again. So they were making lobster ravioli, and if you've been following along with the other vlogs in this series, you've heard that my husband and I don't really eat seafood, but my husband John, he did want to give it a try, so he tried the lobster ravioli and he said it was very good. So I was not feeling as adventurous today, but we really enjoyed listening to the chefs talking and cooking through everything and they were actually quite funny as well so that was lots of fun and then we had breakfast at Enchanted Garden this morning which we have determined is our favorite of the rotational dining restaurants but tonight we have dinner at Animator's Palette which we have not been to yet so we'll see if that can rival an Enchanted Garden but we just really like the atmosphere at Enchanted Garden we think it's very calming and it's just a really beautiful space so that's what's been going on this morning and we'll see what the rest of the day has in store for us. We are currently on deck three next to the Walt Disney Theater which is where we will come tonight to watch Beauty and the Beast. So it's over here on the marquee and it actually has the whole um, show schedule for the entire cruise here. So I had mentioned earlier in one of the vlogs or today, I can't remember, that we missed Disney's Believe, which I really wish we could have seen, um, but we had some dinner reservations that night that overlapped. So we'll have to catch that another time, but I have heard that the Beauty and the Beast show is very good. So your show times are up there, 6 and 8.30. So they specifically have those shows at those times so that um, everyone who is dining, whether you have the early dining seating or the late one, you can still view the show. So we're looking forward to seeing that. And then over here is Preludes. And this is where they have popcorn and snacks that you can buy at an additional cost for the show. And there's John. He's just waiting for lunch. But he also bought his um, drink package here in his cooler. So this is where he saw some beers that he really liked um, and they weren't on the original menu. So if you wanna check out Preludes, you can also find some drink packages there. So we had a really fun time at the towel folding class and I wanted to show you a couple of our final creations. One of them we had to deconstruct, but the other two we brought back to our stateroom. So the first animal we made was a monkey and he was hanging, so that one we deconstructed. This is a dinosaur and when we, when we got back to our room we still had these little dots on um, the bear that we had last night. So. He's still sitting over there. 
um, in our stateroom host, Bagus made us the bear. We made him the dinosaur, so I'm sure he will be very proud to see it when he comes in for turn down service tonight. And then the last one we made today was a swan. So um, this one was pretty simple, but when you roll this, you have to do it really, really tight so it gets that swan shape. So we had a really fun time at the class. And actually, if I walk over here real quick, they did give us the directions for how to fold the animals that we created today. So there is actually that little monkey that we made. And so there's pictures and words. So we will have to try these out at home. We did not do the lobster. Looks like fun. Oh, and we got a dog on our first night. Oh, and an elephant. This is gonna be a fun time. So we'll have to continue the fun at home. We just finished up in the Walt Disney Theater with the Beauty and the Beast show, and I loved it. I mean, you can, I've seen lots of Disney movies multiple times, seen them in show form, but it was a fantastic show, and I'm yep. very impressed by how much, we both said, we were impressed by how much they got into an hour long show, or however. I think it was, so an, it was hour an hour long. 15, but it definitely didn't start on time, and but it ended on time. Our cruise so. director had some opening remarks and, and thanked many of the crew members um, that have been a big part of the crew, so that was very nice. Um, but yes, definitely go see the show. Like I said, over and over, I'm disappointed we didn't get to see Believe, but uh, we'll just have to come back for another cruise. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so now we are enjoying... Uh, what's probably going to be a clouded sunset before we head out to... A dusty sunset. Okay, dusty sunset. We're, before we head out to trivia, and then later on, dinner. And here is that dusty sunset we were just talking about. Our um, captain did an amazing job of keeping us in the sun today and in the dry, dry skies because it was supposed to be pretty rainy. You can probably see over here how clouded it is. There might be some patches of rain out there on the horizon, but he kept us nice and dry and sunny all day long and in smooth waters, which I am particularly happy about. So this is our final sunset. Here for our last dinner at Animator's Palette. I do remember this restaurant from being on the Disney Magic in 1999, and it was one of our favorites. So much fun, and I think the colors will change throughout the night. You can see the Mickey chairs in the background. We've got a little paintbrush on our plate, and then a palette as our table number. Looking forward to a great meal tonight. Good evening. Hi, Vijay. Welcome back. How are you? <laughs> We're great. We're ready for a wonderful dinner. And this is Pradeep, our amazing server. Thank you for taking care of us. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> so our bread service tonight is a, um, an herb focaccia. We do have the dinner rolls though if we would like. We have a roasted garlic dip and butter. And then I did want to mention that their menus, while I think they used to be paper, um, I think the pandemic changed that as it did for many restaurants. So now they are all through the app. So you will find everything on here. I don't particularly love having my phone all the time because phones are kind of yucky, as many of you know, but I guess it is convenient and they don't have to pass around menus and wipe them down and do all of that. So I do understand the reasoning. I just don't love having my phone as much. Um, but the QR code is on the table if you need to scan it. But as always, they make it really easy in the app to find the menu for your day, so you guys can see. There's our menu for today. John's trying to be fancy with the camera, but we're trying the black truffle pasta for sets, which I have watched lots of videos on, and I hear that they're very good. And he got the sliced um, serrano ham with a tomato, something tomato paste, um, and then manchego cheese. Why are you so close to it? It's hard to see. Let's see. Some might say I might be an animator. Okay. No, you're not. <laughs> and for our main course, we not only have one, not two, but three 
entrees that we're gonna try. They all look amazing. So this is a beef tenderloin. John's got that one. This is a herb crusted pork chop and a penne bolognese. We're not gonna eat all of it, but we're going to enjoy it, most certainly. All right, bringing it to you live. <laughs> We just got back. Paige is a little out of breath from climbing a lot of stairs. It was, it was tiring, I will say, but uh, well, I'm not it was out of a breath. lot of stairs after a lot of food, That's an true. ice cream sundae, a couple of sodas. But we also just ran into Bagus, and he was He's like, our stateroom host, by the yes. way. Um, and he came in uh, earlier, and he just knocked on us right now and just said, I thought the room was done earlier when I came because he's found <laughs> our our animals that we had made uh, with the towels. The towel folding class that we did earlier. Exactly. We wanted to impress him with our skills. And he was impressed enough where he thought someone else had already <laughs> done up the room. Why would so. they do that? So anyways, let me show you what he left for us on our last night. This is obviously a much better version of a swan than we did. So. His were nice and crisp. I don't know how he gets these fold so tight because John and I had to do this part together. Like one person pinched and the other person rolled. Yeah. With but, two people we couldn't even come close to that. But, but it's so nice. I imagine he made it for us because we marked down that this was a trip for our anniversary. So we've got our lovey Debbie swans. We've got our delicious chocolates which I am going to have to take a break from chocolate after this trip because I've had so many things. And this is the oh so important survey. So all of our wait staff um, in the dining rotation rooms, um, our uh, stateroom ho host, they all really want us to fill this out and we absolutely are. I think this really is very important to um, Disney. It's important to those uh, crew members and their success and just making sure that the experience is great for all guests. Um, in the future, so we are absolutely going to be just filling this out later on tonight and hopefully in the morning, um, well definitely in the morning, we'll be dropping it off in one of the boxes that I know will be located all around the ship. So that is what we were left on our final night. Good morning from Port Canaveral. I was up very early. It was still dark when I was up and I saw us pulling into the Disney Cruise Line slip here. So we are officially ready to get off the ship to disembark and head on home a little bit later this afternoon. So last night I promised I would update you on what we do with bags and tipping. So with our bags, there are two options. So we could have put our bags outside of our room last night at 10.15 and they would have been taken and we wouldn't have seen them until after we cleared through customs once we, got, once we had gotten off the ship. So they would just be put in the Disney Cruise Line terminal in different sections and we received little Pluto luggage tags. They're just like little paper ones that we would have attached to our bags and that Pluto section is where they would have been located. So that's one way, but then you can also do the express, not checkout, but like express disembarkation, if you will. Um, so that means you keep your bags and then as soon as you hear the announcement in the morning that the ship has been cleared for customs, um, you can disembark. So if you have to uh, catch an early flight or if you just have other vacation plans or you're just ready to get off the ship, you can wait for that announcement. And this morning that announcement was made at around 7.15. So that was pretty early. We have decided to keep our bags so you can see them over there, but we are not in a rush to get off the ship. We just wanted to have our belongings and be able to get ready with everything that we had. So that is the choice that we've made. So we're just gonna leave them outside of our uh, rotational dining restaurant this morning, which is Animator's Palette. There will probably be plenty of other bags out there. We'll just keep them off to the side. They are used to doing this, so I'm sure there will even be a section for us to put our bags. So we're just in charge of carrying them that whole time. And we cannot leave them in our stateroom because we do have to leave our stateroom by eight o'clock this morning, which is actually in just 10 minutes. So that is everything with baggage. And then with tipping, you saw that we received that kind of salmon colored paper. It had perforated lines and then there were like strips for each of the different uh, crew members that were really a part of our 
um, crews, so stateroom host, head server, server, and assistant server were the four that um, were on these little envelopes that we received. So we took those yellow, not yellow, those salmon little strips of paper, we put them inside of the envelope, and that amount will be charged to our account. And we also just added a little bit of cash on top of that. So you can add cash, you can just leave the amount that was suggested, um, or you can go to the customer service desk and have them do everything through your account. So if you don't have any cash to add on, but you wanna charge it to your card, you can do that as well. So this is all just a suggestion. Um, it is not a requirement that you tip, but certainly um, very important to do for those that have made your vacation extra wonderful and extra magical. So we've got those ready to hand out this morning as we head off to breakfast and we completed our little survey, which just has um, bubbles on it. There's no, there's no major comments except for adding some names of crew members who made your experience uh, particularly magical is what it says on the back. So that is everything for checkout, tipping, baggage, all that stuff. So now it is time for us to leave our stateroom. Goodbye stateroom 8580. You were great. And also, we were very close to the elevator and we never heard a single ding. It was never disruptive. So don't let that prevent you from getting a room close to those elevators because we loved this one. It's our last breakfast. I've got a ham and cheese omelet, some sausage and hash browns. I was able to get a fruit bowl. Um, this is cantaloupe. We've got some French toast that we're going to take some bites out of because it was really good. And John's got a ham and cheese omelet as well. Apple juice and I have pineapple juice. So, last breakfast. But at least it's a good one. Breakfast is over and I just want to show you. We just put our luggage over here which is where we were directed to. And there are plenty of other people that have luggage all the way around the entrance to Animator's Palette. So, it is not unusual for you to bring your luggage and leave it in this space. In fact, they will direct you to do so. All right, breakfast is over and we're about to... Bon uh, voyage. Bon, okay, bon, bon voyage is when, when, when you leave on yep. a trip. Well, we're leaving on a trip back okay. home. Okay, well, bon voyage to the Disney dream. And um, once again, thank you to our servers, Mede and Pradeep. They were wonderful. They saw that I was filming and they might be watching this at some point. So thank you so much for making our vacation just excellent, which it really was. So one last look at the Disney dream before we go. See you real soon, Disney dream. We had a blast.